Good morning, Central Crossing. Welcome to Monday. I'm Gavin. And I'm Holly. So we hope everyone enjoyed their three-day weekend. I know I did. I got caught up on some schoolwork and some sleep. Me too. It was nice. Well, I think we are headed back to fall weather again. What's going on, Kurt and Bob? Good morning, Central Crossing. It's Bob Hale and Kurt Rake with weather and lunch. So today, the high will be 66 degrees and there is a low of 41 degrees. There is only a 10% chance of rain today, and the humidity is 62%. And now for lunch, we are having Tony's Pizza, Quesadilla, and grilled cheese and tomato soup with Keebler Saltine Crackers. Now for some band jokes. How many conductors does it take to screw in a light bulb? How many? No one knows because no one ever looks at them. <laughs> Funny and true. What is the latest crime wave in New York City? What? Drive-by trombone solos. That's a good one. Well, that's it for today. Have a good day, Central. Back to you, Anchors. Thanks, Kurt and Bob. We appreciate the information. We have some congrats to send out. Congratulations to Courtney Harkless, class of 2019. Courtney won the Jostens' oldest class ring contest. Courtney brought in a ring from the class of 1942. For winning the contest, Courtney gets her class ring for free. Compliments of Jostens. Enjoy, Courtney. So this week, we have a lot of good stuff going on. Get involved in one of these things. Handmade by Me meets tomorrow in the food room after school. And then Key Club meets this Wednesday also in the food room after school. On Thursday, there's a lot going on. We start with Wren Club in the morning. They meet 7.30 a.m. in room 209. And then after school, Guitar Club meets Thursday at 3.30 in room 180. And the Outdoor Club is also getting together on Thursday. They will be talking about upcoming plans, including a trip to Mad River Mountain in February to ski, snowboard, or snow tube. Plan to attend this meeting in room 237 on October 27th at 3.30 p.m. Please see Mr. Christman or Mr. Gottschall for more information. And then we end our week with GSA. They meet this Friday at 3.30 in Mr. Osborne's room. But the weekend comes, and the outdoor club is back in action. They have an on-your-own event at Battelle Derby for a graveyard hike from 10 to 11 a.m. on Sunday. Now let's head to the locker room for sports. Good morning, Sister Crossing. I'm Tyler. And I'm Ethan. And this is what's happening in sports. First, we have some swimming news. There will be open pool sessions today, Tuesday and Thursday, October 24th, 25th, and 27th, for those that are interested in joining the swim team. These will take place at, from 345 to 545 at the Urban Crest YMCA. Swimmers should bring a one-piece swimsuit, goggles, and towel. Those that need a ride to the pool can board bus 189, which has a stop near the Y. If you have any set questions, please see Ms. Jacobs in room 260. Here's news and comments football. This Friday night is our last game and last home game, which means senior night. Go and watch the class of 2017 get a victory over the Maryville Monarchs for the last time of the season. Tonight on ESPN, the Broncos are at home against the Texans with both teams having a record of 4-2. and two. That's all from us today. Back to you guys. Thanks, Ethan and Tyler. Here is some great news for all current and former French students. Our next trip to France in June 2018 is planned and sign-ups are happening. If you are interested, see Ms. Bosworth in room 110. Next, we have upcoming college visits. The University of Cincinnati will be here today at 1.30. And then Wright State is here tomorrow at noon. And Lord's University will be here Thursday at 10.15. You need to sign up through Naviance for these visits. If you do sign up for a college visit, please remember to attend. If you are unable to make it to the visit, go back into Naviance and cancel so they aren't expecting you. Now here is Chance and Jade to get, with some jokes to get your week started. Good morning, Central. I'm Chance. And I'm Jade. Here are some jokes for you guys today. What does the acronym Homer stand for? Oh gee, I don't know Chance, what? Half of my energy wasted on random knowledge. That's the way you look at everything. What's the acronym school stand for? Six cool hours of our lives. Dude, that's bad, but it's so true. Here's a special one for those of you waiting for the right one to come along. Stop waiting. He probably got stuck in a tree or something. Go help the guy. Not all people are the brightest. It's okay. Take me, for example. We know chance. It's, it's fine. So the past, present, and future walk into a party pretty tense. Bet. So Chance, why do we even use algebra? Honestly, I don't know. Finding exes are only useful if you're a pirate. Or really bad in relationships. 
This next one's for you guys struggling in Spanish class. I throw my hands up in the air sometimes, saying, hey, oh, no comprendo. Don't you just love how you're sleepy till you actually go to bed? Yeah, then it turns into the wildest internet party ever. Never make the same mistake twice. I just make it five or six more times and be sure. You know, that's how life really works. You gotta make sure it's a mistake, man. Well, that's all for us from us today. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, Chance and Jane. Well, that's it for today. See you tomorrow, Central.